Hello my viewers. This video is about a tool that many of you probably already know about, whether you use it or not. And here it is. It's a fitting cleaning brush. This one is an inch and one eighth. And the reason I want to talk about the these brushes is because I don't really think that they get the attention that they should. Especially if you use nothing but a, um, like a emery cloth to clean your copper. Now it's a good idea to, of course to use emery cloth on the outside of the copper tubing. But what do you do on the inside of the tubing or the inside of a uh, coupling? Well, this tubing brush will do a much better job than emery cloth will any day. I have here a near complete collection of some uh, fitting cleaning brushes. Starts with a uh, quarter inch, uh, three eighths, and I have half inch, five eighths, three quarter, seven eighths, inch and an eighth, inch and three eighths, inch and five eighths, and two and one eighth. Now, most HVAC technicians will use a quarter inch up to probably seven eighths but if when you get into the commercial sizes then you're looking at having to get these larger sizes here first we'll take a look at some a quarter inch uh, fitting okay now one way to clean this of course is with some emery cloth you could sort of roll it up a little bit and um, you know into something that you could squeeze inside right and then turn it twist it and kind of like this okay you know, and hope it's going to come clean or you can simply take the uh, quarter inch fitting cleaner brush and uh, use it just say um, take and uh, turn it in there and if you can get it out of there anyway but uh, you know it's going to be clean <clears throat> hold on okay you know it can be a son of gun sometimes to just uh, turn this thing to get it in there but Take a look at how clean that is inside. See, and this is how it was. I mean, it wasn't real bad in there anyway to begin with, but but again, take a look at how clean that is after brushing it, and how clean that is without. Let's take a look at this three eighths fitting. Okay, it's been rolling around my truck for a while, so it's been collecting some corrosion. Uh, We'll go ahead and take the see the uh, three eighths brush and brush this out. Just kind of take and turn it on the inside a little bit. Okay, and look at that. See how much cleaner that is than that. Look at all that corrosion on the inside of that tubing there. And look at how clean that is now. Now let's try some half inch. As you can see, this fitting here, this coupling, look at how dirty that is. It has corrosion in there. And you know how hard that would be to clean with um, just some emery cloth? Well, let's give it a try. One side here, I'll use emery cloth. And the other side, I'll use the brush. So I just kind of fit this emery cloth in here. Okay. And try and uh, clean it as good as I can. Alright, spend a little bit of time on it. Alright, now look at that though. It's still really dirty. It's not all that clean. Uh, it's not real impressive. Now let's try the half inch brush on this. Okay. And uh, just kind of spend about the same amount of time as I did with the emery cloth. And look at that. See how much cleaner that is than that right there? 
I mean, this is just makes all the difference in the world. Okay, now I have a, a 5 8 coupling here that's especially uh, corroded on the inside. Now, this would take some work to clean with emery cloth. Now, let's try it. Say this is a 5 8 coupling, by the way. So we're using a 5 8 brush. Now, you just hold on to the coupling, put the brush in there a little bit, as far as you need to clean it anyway, and then just turn it and clean the inside. Okay, let's see here. Now look at that. I'm telling you, there's right about no way you would be able to get this this clean with just emery cloth. No way. I'll even put this to the emery cloth test. Okay, let's see. And it's very, I mean, without putting a lot of a lot of effort into it, you'd never get that inside of this coupling clean. Okay, now let's see how it's starting a little bit. Okay, but like I said, I mean, it, it would take an enormous amount of effort to get that clean. But with the brush. And it comes so much cleaner, so much faster. This is a uh, a Street 45 right here, copper. And let's see if we can take the three quarter inch, okay, and clean the inside of this better. Now look at all that corrosion. Go ahead and just put the brush in there. Okay, I mean, you see, you're not going to spend a lot of time at it. And look at all that. Look at that, how much cleaner that is. See? It's going to allow you to braise a, a much better joint. Cleaner, the better. Here's a piece of 7 8 Now, this 7 8 isn't really all that bad. So, it's just a 7 8 coupling. It's fairly new. So it's not really as corroded as some of the other pieces. What I'm going to do is I'll take the uh, 7 8 brush and brush the inside of one side. Okay. There we go. That's pretty clean. And I didn't spend a lot of time at it. This now here's the other side, which is still pretty dirty. I mean, uh, you can take some. It's easier. The larger the size of copper, the easier it is to clean with emery cloth. But still, it still take you longer, no matter what. Okay, to clean that copper uh, as good as the brush does. See now for to clean the inside of this inch and five-eighths tubing, I'm going to use the inch and three-eighths brush, okay, because that's all you need to do. Let's see how clean we can get this guy here. And look at that. You see, that's pretty clean right there. All right, it's a whole lot cleaner you'd probably get with emery cloth. Okay, this is the other side, which is Still pretty darn dirty that you have to use emery cloth with. Um, but let's try the brush again. Okay, we'll spend a little time on this one because well, the copper tubing is much larger. This is an inch and five eighths tubing, but I like again I'm using inch and the inch and three eighths brush to clean the inside of the ancient 5 eighths. Okay. Now, see how well that cleaned that up? Let's see, can't even see any of the corrosion or anything anymore. It's all gone. 